Frank's calling for the return of the Night Runners. I wonder what will come of it. figuring out how you're gonna pay me back, and quick. You look good. You put on weight. Hello, Barney. What brings you, pal? I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. You're not the only one, man. What do you mean? The good doctor's in trouble. And, uh, weird kind of trouble. You see, a group of renegades appeared in Old Villador. First, we braced ourselves for another battle. But they didn't attack the bazaar. Just asked for Dr. Ryan. Of course, we didn't tell them where she is. And where is Veronica? <laughs> you can tell me, right? In a hideout. Vincenzo and a few of our people are protecting her there. But the less people know about that place, the safer she is. Where is it, Barney? If the renegades are hunting Veronica, a few people may not be enough. You just can't walk away from a fight, can you? The building is north of Quarry End. Courtesan Rose Street. But you didn't hear it from me. Thanks for the info. I'll go and give him a hand. The folks say I'm the one always itching for a fight. Anyway, good luck, man. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. The wind's blowing from the east. That's a bad one. What were you even thinking? I've never seen someone botch a job so bad.
Aiden. Thank God. Wait, where's Veronica? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No. But we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? Something's not right. Yes. I'm safe. Are you? Oh, I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Frank told me you worked for the GRE. I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? That's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go... Wait, hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Thank you. I'm lucky you showed up. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell.
Near the dam. Meet me, and then we'll go to the observatory. That's the place you're looking for. But the, the observatory's soaked in chemicals. Find me in the two-story building squeezed between the dam and the promenade. It's you. Had a feeling we'd cross paths sooner or later. Well, you patched up Barney, right? He whimpered like a baby as soon as he saw the needle. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. 
Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Well, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. Wait, you're not coming? No, I, I will join you, but first, I'd like you to restore the power to the building. You see, I have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces or in the dark. <laughs> now, you probably think I'm a coward. Not at all. I think it took guts to come here. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. This stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There, you'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. <sighs> the blocker is working. That blocker won't protect Initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? I was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really.
Veronica, I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I can get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden.
I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. Yeah, this place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. Aiden? What? What's going on? The elevator! It stopped! I see. I think it blew a fuse. I'm checking. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Please, don't leave me here. Don't be afraid. I, I just need a moment. Don't leave me. Don't leave me.
working on it. Let me out! Let me out! I'm not sitting on my hands here, Veronica. Try to breathe. Slowly. Uh, oh. Don't leave me! Just don't leave me here! Shouting won't do anything except attract infected. Yeah, calm down. I won't leave you. you by the elevators. everything would work out. Just get in. You always been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake, can we not talk about this right now? Uh, the database. Where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. This is... Uh, pretty high tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the Observatory. Then the virus came, and that was the end. So what happened here, in the end? Well, the GRE lost control of the situation, and it all went to hell. Everything collapsed. From what I know, the scientists at first barricaded themselves inside. But soon, conditions in here were as bad as they were in the city. So some of them quietly slipped out. And those who stayed are the ones you got rid of earlier. So the military ran this place before the GRE? Yes. It used to be a Cold War command bunker. Cold War? A period in the last century. Wars back then were fought on a grander scale. It wasn't just about day-to-day -day matters like having enough water, UV lamps, and food scraps. In a way, though, it was just like things are now. People lived every day in constant fear. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this witnesses to history. Dark again. Wait, I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. We need to open these doors somehow. Maybe from the other side. It's a tight fit in here.
Veronica, how are you holding up? Just want to get to that database and get out of here. You're doing great. Just talk to me. Why are you really helping me? You're taking quite a risk. Frank told me it was important to you. And that's it? You probably don't know much about Frank and the Night Runners. We owe him, well, everything. Smart move. Rerouting the circuit. Yeah. Saved my life a few times. Veronica? Should we get going? Yes. Let's get this over with and then get out of here. This way. The main computer is there. You'll finally know what happened to your sister. She's all I have. What about your parents? I don't remember them. Just her. We... We were a good team. Without her, it's like, uh... God, I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. We're all different people than we were 15 years ago. We all got... lost. It's here. It's locked again. <sighs> what now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. Uh, I guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select emergency unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done. Another problem. I'm stuck here. I need to find a way out. Can I help you somehow? I don't think so. Just stay where you are.
Dr. Veronica Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department. A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan, director, field labs department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Cure? We were five, for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control. One by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son, he was here with me. Paul, he was five back then too. What happened to him? I managed to find the shaft leading to the main entrance. I told Paul to wait for me. I kissed him and I told him to wait until I made sure the entrance was safe. He clung to me, didn't want to let me go. When I came back for him, he was gone. I was only away for 15 minutes. I spent the next week looking for him. And then the rest of my life crying. I should have known. He was a kid, scared, alone. I'm sorry. You were trying to take him out of here. How could you know? Anyway. We all have our own stories of the past. Let's concentrate on what happens next. Okay. Let's go. So, are we going in? Hope you find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. I'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait! <clears throat> I'm done waiting! It's time for answers. Veronica, are you okay? It looks like we tripped an alarm. Decontamination procedure. Decontamination procedure? That can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination's deadly. But how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! Remain calm. Veronica? I can't stop it. Do something! 
Crystal think faster. Blockers. I still have one. You have to find one for yourself. A any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go. Find the control room. Contamination procedure ready to begin. Find a way up. Hurry. Control room upstairs. No! No! Aiden? Aiden, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I used the blocker. Thank God. I think we're safe now. Well, that's good to hear. Ready to plug in? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. Cross your fingers, Aiden. The moment of truth. Damn, it's broken. Oh, no, are you shitting me? Yeah, I am. It's just an old system. Wait, give me the key. Granted. There is a list of patients and personnel. Who do you want to check first? Search for Mia. Is that your sister? Yes. Nothing. Impossible. She was there. With me. <sighs> I'm searching. Sorry, Aiden. Records show no patients named Mia. God! It's impossible. I will check my name. Aiden. Aiden. <sighs> There's one record? Among the youngest children. Year... 2020. Aiden Caldwell? Is that your surname? Well, it is now. What does it say? Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above average tolerance to the substance. Most tests performed. Exemplary results. Yes, 
think so. Is there anything else? No. That's all. Waltz. Checking. One record. Clinical studies. Substance 1354. Study abandoned. All patients discharged from the center. Look through all the names. Uh, patient discharged. All of them? Yes. Damn it. No info on where they ended up. Or about this substance. Uh, 1354 or something? I'm sorry, Aiden. There's more. The substance was also tested on some infected at GRE facilities across the city. To no avail. The project was run and supervised from X-13. It was eventually shut down, as was X-13 itself. Is there anything more about this X-13? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hub of GRE operations. And the substance, you know what it is? There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the database for the research data. Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's been initiated. Another procedure? I'm looking... Lots of data. Started, then paused... 11 years ago. Resumed a few days ago in X-10. There's also a map. <laughs> Several locations are marked, including the observatory. What the hell does it all mean? I have no idea, but... Intruder alert. Intruder alert. In infected? They must be here somewhere. <sighs> Renegades. They must have followed us. There's no time. Hurry, take the key, hide yourself somewhere, and lock yourself in. I'll deal with them. Aiden, we don't know how many there are. I'll handle it. You all right? Yes, but I have bad news. These locations on the GRE system, they appear to be targets. Targets for missile strikes. Missile strikes? What are you talking about? The failsafe protocol. We don't have much time. Listen, this marks Riverend and Garrison. That's in the central loop. People live there. You have to warn Frank. Okay. Okay, I will. Hey, Frank? Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. What? 
No time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. Shit. Okay. On it. Open the fuck up! Just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take them out. You're safe here. Autograph. Veronica, I think it's safe now, but we have to get going. Veronica? Talk to me. I had to get out, Aiden. I'm sorry. I felt trapped in there. Okay. Where are you? I headed towards the elevators. I... Veronica? What's happening? Someone's here, Aiden. Oh, no. 
No, no, no! Veronica! She was here. That's her radio. Find her. You heard the lie. We're moving. Get her. Veronica? Hold on. Veronica, talk to me. Hang on, Veronica. I'm coming. Veronica, talk to me. Hang on, Veronica. I'm coming. Veronica, get away! Give fucking key! Give it to me! Just run, I'll stop him. Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with me? Uh... Little boy. I give it! Give me the fucking key. What have you done with my sister? She's long gone. No! I'll kill you! Leave my I'll... <laughs> 
should have died years ago. <laughs> 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 Aiden? Hold on. You'll be okay. Just hold on. It's okay, Aiden. It's okay. the key, Luan. <laughs> Fuck, Aiden, you're heavy. <sighs> Almost there. Just hold on. Hold on. <sighs> oh, you're back. Thank God. You really gotta stop doing that. You had me worried, and I don't get worried. Keep away from me, Luan. <coughs> wow. I mean, it's not like I expected flowers. But for digging you out from under the rubble and carrying you here on my back, a small thank you would be nice. You don't understand, Luan. I... You what? I, um... I killed Veronica. What? I killed her. And not only that, I'm turning... I saw Veronica's body. It was torn as if by a volatile. You couldn't. Waltz told me that Mia's dead. I have to get away from here. I'm a threat if I stay to... Uh, to everyone. What if he lied to you? And Mia's alive. And even if not, you didn't kill Veronica Aiden. That wasn't you. I repeat, that was not you. If this transformation is because of Waltz, then we're going to make him fix it. Got it? I'll help you. How? Waltz created the inhibitors. He must know how to counter their effects. What was that? Come on. Probably another building collapse. The Butcher. He's finishing what he started 11 years ago. It's Waltz. He used the key. That's when this all started. What are you talking about? Dylan didn't want Waltz getting the GRE key. He knew the whole city would be at risk. And Waltz took the key from Veronica and escaped. Apparently he needs it for something else. Do you see now? You have to stop him. Him and Williams. No matter what. One. I 
can't control when I turn. Any moment now, I can... When you feel something happening, just get to a UV light. I can't stop them alone, Aiden. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's get him. Now you're talking like the Aiden I know. Frank's taking Juan and Matt to the stronghold. He wants to meet with the Butcher. What? I had the same reaction. But he says that after the bombing, Williams contacted him, and that he wants to talk. Has Frank lost his mind? That's why I'm going to cover their idiotic asses. You go to the fisheye. Maybe you can still talk Frank out of this stupid idea. If that doesn't work, I won't be far. Aiden? Nobody can know about Veronica. Remember, I know it wasn't you who did that, but Jack, the peacekeepers, they won't give a shit. They can't stop us. They won't. 